for three days after Israeli soccer fans were beaten and injured in violent clashes in Amsterdam. Dutch police had launched a major investigation into multiple incidents following the Europa League soccer game Thursday night between Israel's Maccabi Tel Aviv and Dutch side Ajax. Amsterdam has implemented several additional security measures in the wake of the unrest. Dutch Prime Minister Dick Skoof said he was horrified by the anti-Semitic attacks on Israeli citizens. Besides, he has assured Netanyahu that the perpetrators will be identified and prosecuted. All right, uh, Didi Niaz, Akshay Dongre joins us live for the latest. Uh, Akshay, what are you picking up? How many arrests have taken place so far? And a major investigation into multiple violent incidents have been launched. Well, uh, uh, several uh, arrests have already taken place, Abhishek, and when it comes to uh, the measures that have been impl implemented by the Dutch authorities, uh, mm. they have uh, uh, put a ban on protests for the next three days as far as uh, the uh, upcoming, uh, the, the uh, ongoing uh, chaos in Amsterdam is concerned. Also, uh, uh, the authorities, especially the mayor of Amsterdam, has put a ban on face covering clothing as well as uh, a ban on uh, from people uh, uh, carrying any, any kind of object that can be used to attack uh, any other person. Now, uh, the situation in Amsterdam remains grim. Uh, in fact, uh, tensions uh, still uh, persist when it comes to uh, the the, uh, uh, the clashes that took place yesterday. And now, what we are seeing uh, in the city uh, of of Netherlands is is that uh, the the city has, uh, in fact, clearly been uh, divided in political lines, uh, where uh, which uh, which could have just been a, a soccer game, uh, it has been turned into a full blown political chaos and uh, a diplomatic rift as well. Now, uh, uh, the uh, the uh, exact uh, reasons for this uh, clash are still unclear uh, and uh, there are counter allegations and allegations coming in from both the sides uh, while uh, the, uh, the, the there is one side that is claiming uh, that uh, some some of the uh, supporters uh, some of the supporters of Tel Aviv uh, Makrabi uh, were, were claiming or were chanting slow anti anti Arab slogans uh, there are uh, other kind of allegations as well that uh, it is it, they, these anti-semitic attacks were carried out without any kind of uh, provocation in fact uh, there are certain videos that are surfacing online where uh, people are uh, running uh, from uh, from these kind of attackers uh, shouting that they are not Jewish. So clearly the attack that took place in Amsterdam were uh, anti-Semitic in nature. Uh, the, the kind of uh, uh, the kind of attacks that have been carried out uh, has clearly uh, has clearly uh, showed one side of, of uh, Europe as well that uh, you know when it comes to uh, these kind of targeted attacks, harassments, threats, uh, they still remain uh, uh, when it comes to ethnic divides that are now uh, you know more clearly emerging uh, in not just Amsterdam but different parts of European cities. But Akshay, uh, when Ajax uh, Amsterdam defeated Maccabi, the football match, uh, the fans left the stadium peacefully without any incident. Tell us how did it all start? Uh, I mean, clashes uh, had started before the match also. Uh, was it a planned anti-Semitic attack against Israeli citizens? Well, all that is being investigated, Abhishek, mm. and uh, we'll get a clearer idea when once the Dutch authorities uh, come up uh, with okay. uh, the uh, exact reason for uh, these attacks that have taken place. As of now, what we are hearing from the sources and from uh, the people on the ground uh, who have uh, who have been witnessing these attacks uh, are saying that uh, there were uh, there were two groups uh, that were chanting slogans against each other. Now uh, there were certain pro-Palestine groups uh, that were uh, that were involved in these kind of uh, you know uh, sloganering. And there was one group that was pro-Israel and anti-Palestine uh, group as well. So uh, there were certain slogans, there were tensions uh, that that were there even before the match started when the people were in uh, were in uh, uh, the stadium. Uh, but uh, quickly these uh, these sloganeerings uh, turned into uh, turned into attacks against each other and clashes uh, that were not just limited to the stadium but also uh, erupted in different parts of the city. So that clearly hints at some kind of uh, systematic uh, attack or or planning uh, behind this attack that took place because once at the same time these kind of attacks taking place in different parts of the city uh, cannot be uh, a coincidence and it has to be uh, there has to be certain uh, uh, systematic uh, uh, arrangement as far as uh, why these kind of attacks uh, took place in different parts of the city at the same time so there clearly was certain communication but uh, we have to uh, wait for uh, the uh, Dutch authorities to properly investigate these attacks so that we can get more clarity on why it happened and so that it doesn't happen again in the future. Um, uh, Akshay, tell us about the reactions also. Have the world leaders also reacted? 
Well, absolutely. In fact, especially the Dutch authorities, uh, they have, uh, you know, implemented certain measures, heightened security, uh, implemented uh, certain certain measures on the ground as well. Like uh, I mentioned about uh, 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 banning protests for the next three days, uh, stopping people from wearing any kind of uh, face covering uh, clothing that, that can cover their faces uh, that have been seen uh, in the yesterday's attacks and uh, ban from pe uh, on, on people from carrying any kind of object that can be used in these kind of attacks against any ethnic group or any other people. Uh, so that is uh, that is being implemented on the ground. Security measures are being taken, uh, play, uh, ta are being implemented. Uh, also, uh, the uh, Dutch authorities claim that uh, people were seen on the scooters uh, trying to chase, uh, 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 you know, uh, especially the Jewish people uh, that are not just uh, that were not just uh, those who travelled from Israel uh, to the city, but also the Jewish residents of Amsterdam as well. And and people were being uh, asked if they are Jewish, and you know, uh, the, these kind of incidents have taken place. So. Uh, clearly, uh, there will have to be certain uh, implementation of certain measures uh, that can pr prevent such kind of uh, uh, mm. attacks from happening again uh, in, in not just Amsterdam but in Europe. Uh, but uh, clearly, the world leaders are condemning uh, this kind of uh, attack that has taken place, which has left more than 30 people injured. Mm. There were also reports of uh, people being thrown around, uh, even in, in uh, you know neighboring rivers. Mm. But as of now, uh, most of the people who were hospitalized uh, have been released. Uh, about uh, 10 people have, have suffered serious injuries. That are still uh, being in, uh, still being treated in the hospital. All right, Akshay, we'll leave it at that. Thank you for your inputs. Moving on to the latest in Russia-Ukraine conflict, Russian air defense.